Hey guys, it's Amber from NotableInk.com and I am back with some last minute holiday cards that you can get done super quickly if you're in a crunch. And the key is using high quality cardstock and some large sentiments and some heat embossing. So we are going to get started now. So I'm using the Big and Bold Holiday Stamp Set from scrapbook.com and then some of my favorite metallic cardstocks. Star Dream Metallics are on sale this month over at card cutcardstock.com. So a lot of these you can get in the $1.99 section. So we're gonna be using Mars, Lagoon, Fairway, Electric Blue, Sapphire, and Luster today. And what I'm doing is I've just cut, I've used three different colors for each of my cards and I've just cut them into roughly a quarter inch strips. And I really didn't take too much care to get the strips even even. I think it looks a little cool if, you know, they're not exactly even, they're not exactly the same width. So, you know, that's totally, perf you know, your personal preference. So do what you like there. I've just put some adhesive on the back of these strips and I've gone ahead and adhered them down to an A2 size piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock and this is an 80 pound. I thought it'd be easier to put the strips down first so that I could get my sentiment lined up with that. And this Y hangs down just a touch past that sub sentiment Christmas that's underneath it. And so it is going to stamp on that red strip just a touch, but I think it looks end up looking fine in the end. But I tried to, I felt like if it didn't touch at all, the Christmas sentiment would be too far away from the strips and didn't look quite right. So I went ahead and went with a little bit of an overhang there. So I'm inking it up with a um, clear sticky ink for heat embossing. I've used the Alt New one here, but any of the ones that you have will work perfectly. If you don't get a good impression the first time around, you can actually see it there. So my ink pad was nice and juicy. I got a good impression. But if you don't, just ink it up more than once if you're using your Misty. And then I have Angel Eyes Embossing Powder from WOW here, and this is an opaque embossing powder. So you could actually emboss this on two colored cardstock and it's still gonna retain its color. The trick with your opaque embossing powders you know, from WOW, well those are the ones that I have experience with, I can't really speak to too many of the other ones. But with your opaque embossing powders, they have a white base to them. So if you overheat them, you are gonna see some of that white come through. So I find the best technique is to start heating your embossing powder from the back of your paper. Make sure that your tool is preheated, start heating from the back, and then you can see that the embossing powder is gonna melt quickly when you then move to the front. This is gonna help you um, prevent some of the marbling you might get if you overheat your embossing powders. You'll see it start to turn white and lose that blue appearance. So um, take care, don't get too close to your paper and keep your heat tool moving. Here it is, super simple card, so quick to put together and I've just added some little gemstones there as an embellishment. Moving on to the next card, I have an A2 size piece of Luster Star Dream Metallic cardstock and I have another sentiment from that same stamp set from scrapbook.com. I have three strips of cardstock in the electric blue, sapphire, and what is the white one? The white one is crystal star dream metallic. It's actually their brightest white color that they have. So this time I'm going to heat emboss with pure white embossing powder from Alta New. Again, I'm gonna heat from the back. Now these Star Dream Metallic cardstocks are super, super thick. They're anywhere between 90 and 105 pounds. And so they hold up to heat embossing very well. But again, I'm gonna heat that from the back and then come around to the front and you can see that it's melting nice and evenly and quickly. I kept all of this at full time because these cards are so quick to make. Um, and for any of our new crafters out there who are new to embossing, I wanted you to see the full process as well. Be sure to treat your paper with an anti-static powder tool before you stamp with your clear embossing ink. So I'm just adding some tape runner to the back of these strips. We'll get these adhered. And this time I went ahead and put my sentiment on the cardstock and I'm matching up my strips with the sentiment. And that's because I didn't want it straight. I didn't want my sentiment straight on the cardstock and there really was only like one angle that it was gonna fit on that A2 size uh, piece of cardstock with it not being straight. So we've got those three strips here. 
I'm gonna trim those off from the back and then I'll go ahead and embellish it. And the second card is done. So again, you could do any color combinations that you like. I love the modern feel of the strips of cardstock with the large, bold sentiments. And I think that the quality papers really create such great cards here. So these are really quick. You can get these done last minute and you can mass produce these very easily. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these projects today. As always, I'll have all of the products listed down below. I usually will do the um, Star Dream Metallic 5x7 and that's the overstock list where you can find them for $1.99 or $7.99. But I'll also put the 8 half by 11 papers there as well if you want to check those out. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, the like, and the bell button if you haven't already. 